Well, we are also kicking off the show with some health advice today and about what's called a silent disease. Now, with kidney disease, there are no symptoms during its early stages. Kind of scary. It is, and, but there is good news here. The earlier you find out you have kidney disease, the sooner you can take steps to protect your kidneys from any further damage. Yeah, and there's an event coming up where you can learn more about ways to prevent kidney disease. And to tell us more, we're joined by Bluzette Marshall, the president of Cincinnati Lynx, and Dr. Chris Lewis from the University of Cincinnati. Thank you both for being here today. I love having friends on the show, so I'm really glad you're here. There's a lot to get to, but Chris, let's start with you. Are there certain risk factors, warning signs that we need to be aware of? Yes, everyone in our community should be aware of the risk factors of kidney disease, including hypertension, diabetes, older age, smoking, uh, taking certain medications. Your race can play a part in it. Being African American, Native American, or Asian American increases your risk. So all of those things should be considered and people should talk to their doctors. And maybe get tested, uh, blood Absolutely. tests, right? Absolutely. There's yeah. blood testing, and if the blood testing is abnormal, you can have imaging like an ultrasound done of your kidneys just to assess uh, your, your risk. I, I know we, we mentioned too that sometimes it's often hard to detect things. What if yes. any are some symptoms that maybe people should notice if they are, are, are aware of these symptoms with their body? What would they be? Oftentimes, particularly in the early stages, there are no symptoms. But as the kidney disease gets advanced, you can have nausea, vomiting, uh, lack of appetite, sweatiness, uh, changes to your urination, either urinating a lot more or urinating a lot less. So if you do have any of those symptoms, certainly check in with your health care provider. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bluzette, tell us about this event coming up because I'm really excited about it. It's on Saturday, right? Absolutely. So it's Saturday, March the 4th, and we're really excited to host it for the community. It's designed to raise awareness yes. about kidney disease, but also to talk about prevention, um, what people can do, how they can connect with resources within their community, and then more importantly for those who are living with kidney disease, how we can wrap our arms um, to support them um, through this disease. Yeah. And we're really excited to partner with the University of Cincinnati um, Academic Health Center. Yes. So that's four colleges that have joined in with us mm -hmm. along with the Health Collaborative as well as Breakthrough Cincinnati and another chapter of the Lynx Incorporated, the Queen City chapter. Yeah, and this is all free, right? This is mm -hmm. all free. Yeah. We're asking uh, friends and family members to come out. Uh, we want to make it easy, so we're saying it's going to be kid-friendly. We have a kid's corner in case parents were saying they don't know what they can do with their children. Um, just bring them, oh, come out, great. learn more about um, the disease and how we can work together as a collective to really make sure that we are addressing it and living healthier lifestyles. Oh, that's cool. I know you mentioned it is free. Do you still need to register for the event if you'd like to come? Great question, yes. So we're asking everyone to please register. You can do that through our website, which is CincinnatiLinks.org. And on there, you'll see information on the Black Care Initiative. And then from there, you just click on to register. Um, we're asking for registration because we are providing lunch and we'd like to have a count of everyone who's coming. <laughs> All right, All right. let's talk a little bit about, Chris, why it's so important for families to talk about kidney disease, right? Because it can get off the radar with some other things, but we really need to keep focused on that, right? Yeah, because it's a silent killer and many people have kidney disease and don't know it, and there are ways to treat it, uh, it's very important for families to talk about this, uh, particularly if you have a family history or any of those other risk factors. Uh, regular conversations about just being healthy in general, but particularly the risks of kidney disease and the treatments of kidney disease can and save lives. And that's one question that I had too. So then if somebody does find out they have kidney disease, what are the treatment options typically? Treatment is mainly focused around slowing the progression of kidney disease, mainly by targeting those risk factors. So making sure that if you're a diabetic, you have good diabetes control. If you have high blood pressure, you're controlling the, the pressure. If you're on any medications that might uh, worsen kidney disease, that you have uh, changes to those medications. But all of those things uh, are, are things that we look at as healthcare professionals to try to mitigate the uh, the problems with kidney disease. Yeah, and it's so great, um, Bluzette, that, that the links are bringing this to the community to put the focus on kidney health and what you can do to prevent it. Absolutely. You know, we're really excited to do this, and it's possible um, due to a subgrant from Baxter International. And as part of our health and human services facet, we really want to make sure that we are lifting the health of our Cincinnati community as a whole. And so with that, we're able to be able to provide this programming um, to really reach out and join hands with partners across the Cincinnati area to really lift our community. Those are the links, right? Yeah. It's the links. Yeah. It's the links. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So where can people go to register again before we let you go? Sure. Uh, CincinnatiLinks.org and then look for the Black Care Initiative. All right. We have that QR code on the screen there, right, too. So yes. if you have a moment, you can just lift up your smartphone, point it right at your screen.
And uh, your camera will open up that link there, and hopefully you get a lot of people to come out and spread some awareness.